As the election gets closer and closer, our country continues to seem to be more and more polarized. One group is working to bridge that divide, especially with younger voters. Milwaukee native and founder of the Millennial Action Project, Stephen Alacara joins us now, and we appreciate you being with us this afternoon. First of all, Stephen, what is the Millennial Action Project and what's your mission? Well, it's great to see both of you, and thanks for having me on. Uh, the Millennial Action Project started here in Wisconsin, grew into a national organization, and its goal is to bridge the political divide and create a new political paradigm for our country. And in order to do that, we need to create a generation of political bridge builders who believe in the art of working together across our lines of difference, not to dilute our ideas, but to evolve to a new place. And one of the biggest accomplishments we had recently is helping young people vote safely in this election. And we produced a PSA, you see that here on the, the video, the first ever bipartisan PSA with sitting elected officials, Democrats and Republicans, helping to educate people on how to vote early uh, and vote safely through the absentee system. And we are very proud to have them involved in this effort. Yeah, Stephen, I do think the younger voters are looking to try to bridge that divide. And in fact, this uh, year I've been following four first vote students. They are all 18 voting for the very first time and they're very engaged. But how do you get those who maybe are less engaged to turn out to vote? Well, that's such a great question because, you know, young people today, they care about the issues, but then they see this hyper partisan environment and they're wondering, where do I fit into that? And what that often leads to is not apathy, as some people usually say, but rather disillusionment uh, with the process. So I think there are two really big things we have to do. One is make the case for why we can create change and how we can create change through politics. And that's why Millennial Action Project is so important. We have the only bipartisan caucus of young elected officials here in Wisconsin. It's called the Wisconsin Future Caucus to actually demonstrate how you can get things done. And then the second thing is to educate and make it more aware how you can vote and participate. And for a lot of people who feel uh, disillusioned, it's important to remember it's not just about voting. It's also about helping our leaders govern more effectively after the election. Yes, and you are our future, so we need you to be involved. Can you give us an idea, Stephen, on how voter turnout has been with the younger populations in recent elections? Sure. Well, the millennial demographic and Generation Z, that youth generation uh, as a whole, has been growing in size. And actually now it is the largest voting demographic. And so both political parties, frankly, need to be able to compete for their vote. But the second thing we're seeing happening is that the percentage of young people voting is actually increasing. The turnout in the 2018 midterms, as an example, was the highest youth turnout in 25 years. And I would expect for this November election, we'll probably see the largest youth turnout since at least 2008 and potentially even before then. Well, Stephen, keep that energy going and we're going to check back with you yeah. after the election to see how things go. Thanks for making time for yeah. us today. Thank you, Sounds Stephen. Great. Thank for a you. complete election guide, including deadlines, you'll want to make sure you meet uh, and make your vote count. Head to TMJ4.com slash Decision 2020.